Et je donne à présent la parole à la représentante du Royaume-Uni. Thank you, President, and I thank Assistant Secretary General Chiari for his briefing. The attacks by Houthis on vessels in the Red Sea must stop. We have made this clear to the Houthis and we call on them to de-escalate. The United Kingdom is committed to continue working with the international community and this council to combat this international threat. We have published a summary of our legal position on last night's strikes and have reported to the Council in writing in accordance with Article 51 of the UN Charter. Et je donne à présent la parole à la représentante des États-Unis. The aim of these strikes was to disrupt and degrade the Houthis' ability to continue their reckless attacks against vessels and commercial shipping in the Red Sea and the Gulf of Aden. These strikes were necessary and they were proportionate, as you just heard from my UK colleague. They were consistent with international law and an exercise of the United States' inherent right to self-defense as reflected by Article 51 of the UN Charter. Colleagues, the United States does not desire more conflict in a region already plagued by so much of it. Our aim is simple, to de-escalate tensions and restore stability in the Red Sea while upholding the fundamental principles of freedom of navigation. We need to also be clear about the role of Iran in these attacks. Without Iranian support, in violation of their obligations under Resolution 2216, the Houthis would struggle to effectively track and strike commercial vessels navigating shipping lanes through the Red Sea and the Gulf of Aden. Every member of this council, and especially those with direct channels to Iran, should press Iran's leaders to rein in the Houthis and stop these attacks. Et je donne à présent la parole aux représentants de la Chine. Mei 尊重各国商船根据国际法在红海水域的航行权利Мы хотели увидеть в качестве докладчиков генеральный секретаря ООН. Главная задача Организации Объединенных Наций, закрепленного в ее уставе, предотвращать угрозы миру и подавлять акты агрессии или, или других нарушений мира в соответствии с принципами международного права. С большим сожалением констатируем, что вчера мы столкнулись именно с такой ситуацией. Вооруженная агрессия со стороны группы стран против другого государства. 11 января так называемая международная коалиция во главе с Соединенными Штатами и Великобританией, куда вошли Австралия, Канада, Бахрейн и, как они сами себя величают, столица мирового правосудия Нидерланды, 